It was an accidental disaster that Cahoe's police say was caused by a deliberate act. The disaster spread out over three city blocks, 20 buildings damaged to some degree, and three of them in the city's main downtown business district on Remsen Street were destroyed. Uh, I can tell you that the extent of the damage is everything that you'd ever think you could see in a fire from houses being completely destroyed to smoke damage that's still going to cost thousands of dollars and the inconvenience of trying to clean your house and, and, and go home and not smell like it's a fire. The fire's origin, police say, was in the rear of 228 Remsen Street, where they say 51-year-old John Gomes had a fire going inside a steel barrel in his backyard. He wanted to bend metal. The problem, however, was that winds at the time were gusting up to 30 miles an hour. We often tell people we don't allow open burns in the city, and they often say, well, what's the worst thing that can happen? Well, this open burn just caused um, millions of dollars in damage and has destroyed our half of our downtown that we've worked so hard to rebuild. It's a non-intentional uh, arson. It's a reckless arson. After Gomes admitted to police what he had been doing and why, they charged him with fourth-degree arson and first-degree reckless endangerment, both of them felonies. The reality is if you even have a half a human heart, you have to have some kind of remorse of what just happened, uh, even if your uh, argument is I didn't mean to do it. Um, I don't know if Mr. Gomes meant to do it, but, but it happened. And the results of what happened are horrendous on our community.